Greetings, my little chicken. I'm telling you, I should have brushed the hair a little before starting this video, but it's been a crazy weekend. More on that later. Okay, here's what's happening this week. We're gonna continue to explore fractions. You guys have been doing an awesome job with it. Better than I've ever seen, actually. Not even tooting your horn there. So look here at this fraction I made. I count up those pieces that are shaded and I see I have eight of them. And I know my denominator or bottom number is gonna be a 10 because it takes 10 equal pieces to make the whole. Well, we've been talking a lot this week about making equivalent fractions, and now we're gonna talk about making equivalent fractions that make our life easier by simplifying those numbers and making them smaller. So looking at this picture, I can see that I can still make equal groups. If I rope off these pieces, instead of in groups of 10, what if I roped off five equal groups? If you look at those red lines, you can see that I have made five equal groups and that four of them are shaded. And you're also gonna see me kind of clumsily reaching for pins to try to get rid of that, <laughs> that black line so you can see that a little bit better. And there I did it, yay. And so looking over at the actual math for this, we know that 8 tenth was exactly equal to 4 fifths. I didn't add any pieces. I didn't take any pieces away. How did I make that number? Well, I applied my doo-doo rule, but I used division because when we are simplifying, we want those numbers to get smaller. So you look at the top number and you look at the bottom number and you see if they have any common factors meaning numbers that you can divide into those top and bottom numbers with no leftover pieces. And I see that they're both even, so I know that I can divide both of these by two. This is kind of part of the reason why we harass you about getting practice with your math facts. If you know your math facts, this stage of our fraction work is much easier. If you don't know them, you can still do it, but it's gonna feel like a lot more heavy lifting than it needs to. Let's look at one more example, kinda like that without a picture model. If I had the number 16 twentieths, I know my math facts, so I know that I can divide both of those numbers by four, but let's just say I did not know my math facts. Get rid of that four. Pretend I, I didn't know. I don't know. Well, I look and see that both of these numbers are even. So right away, I know I can divide them both by two. And whatever I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. And that would turn into eight tenths. But I can't stop there because as we just saw, eight tenths can be simplified. I divide the top by two and the bottom by two. And I end up with four fifths. Now, remember, Four fifths is so much smaller. You can get to that number hopping twice or hopping once, depending on how well versed you are in your math facts. And so we're gonna practice some of the stuff we did last week, but also start learning how to really get in the mindset of simplifying those fractions. And I'm excited to see how it goes. I think it's gonna go really well. It's gonna go better than my hair's going today. That's for sure. Okay, happy Monday.